Pisces Monthly Horoscope, February 19th to March 20th, month of December of 2023 taught you about anything, it was resilience, your own, to be specific. For the first time since 1996, you hosted Structured Saturn in Pisces, a cycle that began on March 7th and will last until February 2026. Class is in session at Saturn School of Hard Knocks, and you've learned the truth in the phrase, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Now that the year is drawing to a close, you've gotten used to these tests of your will, and maybe even started to welcome them. Saturn is like the tough coach or teacher who gives you twice the homework, but you realize afterward how strong and capable you've become under their tutelage. You may have an opportunity to profit from that in the first half of December. With the Sun and confident Mars both in Sagittarius and your ambitious 10th house, a year-end success story could have your name embossed on it. The December 12th Sagittarius new moon can plant the seeds for an opportunity you won't want to miss. And you'll have extra magnetism after your ruling planet, Neptune wakes up from a five-month retrograde in Pisces this December 6th, the second half of the month gets trickier when Mercury turns retrograde from December 13th to January 1st, disrupting the holiday season with its signal-scrambling antics. Be sure to back up your data and devices before then, because Mercury could wreak havoc on your communications. It will back through Capricorn and your 11th house of groups until December 23rd, making it hard to get the team on the same page before you clock out for the holidays. Then, from December 23rd on, Mercury will be retrograde in Sagittarius and your career sector. Don't be too quick to volunteer to work on a project or finish a deal before the new year. Better to reset everyone's expectations than to have clients calling you when you're trying to get some much-needed downtime. On Christmas, the moon will be in Gemini and your fourth house of home and family. If you can work around the retrograde obstacles, you could have a lovely day of bonding with your nearest and dearest. The day after Christmas, December 26, brings a full moon in Cancer and your expressive, passionate fifth house. Healer Feeler Chiron also wraps up a five-month retrograde in Aries and your money sector. Love, fame, money, maybe Santa Claus is coming to town, just a day after you expected him? If you haven't been sure how to even ask for what you want, fear not. Your gift of gab returns on December 30th, when lucky Jupiter ends a four-month retrograde in Taurus and your communication house. In a few days, it could be time to make a bold request, Pisces. On December 31st, the question is not how you'll ring in the new year, but with whom. The moon is in Virgo and your partnership house, so whether it's a romantic partner, a best friend or a great new group of friends, the company you keep as 2024 begins could set the tone for how the year unfolds. Happy New Year! It's Sagittarius season until December 21, the holiday season isn't quite ready to start in your world, Pisces. Every year, the sun makes its annual trek through Sagittarius until December 21st, heating up your 10th house of career ambition and success. While everyone else is winding down, you may get a burst of motivation as you see all the work you've done this year come together. This Sagittarius season could be especially goal-driven for you as action planet Mars is in Sagittarius all month. You're also wrapping up your first year of hosting tough Saturn in your sign, a reinvention that demanded new levels of assertiveness, boundary setting, and responsibility. Not a Pisces favorite thing, but you're really growing from it. Trust us. While you may celebrate more of a modest success than a crushed it vibe thanks to Saturn, there's no reason Sagittarius season can't put a glimmering feather in your cap as you close out 2023. Perhaps you've reached one of your coveted milestones or made significant progress toward it. Use the jubilant energy of the season as reason enough to toast your efforts. Your father or an important man may figure into events while the sun is in Sagittarius. Even if your dad is no longer around, you may feel this presence or connect to it through a cherished family tradition. Find a way to honor the loving ancestors that shaped who you are today. Neptune retrograde ends, in Pisces, on December December 6th 6 brings even more good news, your ruling planet Neptune wakes up from a five-month nap in Pisces, kick-starting your passions again. Since June 30th, you may have felt a bit disconnected from your personal goals or less motivated to pursue them. It was a time to step back and soul-search, so don't worry if you meandered off course. 
As Neptune powers forward in Pisces, you could make up for all the lost time in the last month of 2023. Talk about finishing strong. Get back to your creative and intuitive ways, and you'll be manifesting again in no time. The December 12th Sagittarius New Moon brings a year-end success one of your most successful moments of the year could come right at the very end. The December 12th Sagittarius New Moon beams into your 10th house of ambition and achievement. You could score a career coup or make a professional contact that blossoms into an important opportunity in early 2024. Don't quit before you reach the finish line. Intentions set today can have a ripple effect for up to six months when they culminate at the corresponding full moon. Where would you like to be by mid-2024, Pisces? Do a little journaling or envisioning, even if it's just broad strokes. What steps could you take between now and the summer that, cumulatively, will get you closer to your goal? With the new moon in a favorable trine to the north node in Aries, your financial sector will get a lunar lift. Not only will your career benefit from this new moon, but your bottom line could, too. Mercury turns retrograde on December 13, pace yourself, Pisces. Although the new moon has you raring to get something started, you may need to do that a bit at a time, if not wait until the new year. On December 13, Mercury turns retrograde, messing with communication, travel, and technology until January 1. Mercury will reverse through Capricorn until December 23, sending ripples through your 11th house of teamwork and technology. This could be the perfect time to go on a social media detox and to bow out of party invitations that leave you feeling anything other than inspired. Retrogrades can bring back the past, so don't be surprised if you're pinged out of the blue by an old friend or colleague. Whether this blast from your personal archives will be welcome, we can't guarantee, but don't shoot the messenger. Anyone who pops back onto your radar may be symbolic. Do you need to resolve something from that part of your life or reconnect with some aspect of who you were back then? For example, if you used to travel and be more outgoing, but your life has become a monotonous maze of work and duty, this person's reappearance could nudge you to be more adventurous. From December 23rd onward, Mercury will be in Sagittarius and your professional 10th house, thwarting some of your grand year-end plans. You may have some unfinished business at the office to attend to before you can charge into those 2024 initiatives, and it's probably wise to check in so you don't burn any bridges. Because Mercury retrograde can foil technology and travel, back up all your important data and leave early for the airport if you've got a business trip planned. The sun enters Capricorn on December 21st, winter solstice, feeling a little all work no play? That will change by the third week of the month, when the sun sets sail through Capricorn and heats up your 11th house of friendship and networking for a month. You can mix business with pleasure now, or just blow off some steam with your squad during this convivial and collaborative cycle. That same day, December 21st, the winter solstice will bring much-needed balance back to your life as the northern hemisphere ushers in more light and energy each day. Mercury mayhem aside, things will lighten up a bit now. Get out and socialize, and make up for lost time on the holiday fiesta circuit. Retrogrades connect us to the past, so this is a great time to sync up with old colleagues, friends, and loved ones. Your larger aims are helped considerably by teaming up with like-minded souls. Collaborate around a common cause while the sun is in this socially aware zone of your chart. The December 26th Cancer Full Moon ignites passion missed out on the mistletoe? Here's another chance to feel the love, Pisces. The December 26th Cancer Full Moon beams into your fifth house of passion, romance, and joy, extending the holiday joy by a day. This is an extra special full moon because it's the second one of 2023, a bountiful and blissful bookend that echoes the January 6th Cancer Full Moon that started this year off. While others might be recovering from family visits or hosting duties, you're just getting into the festive spirit. It's the perfect night to dress up and celebrate, especially with some compelling company. But buyer beware, this emotional full moon in your expressive fifth house can come stocking stuffed with drama or strong knee-jerk reactions. Your feelings could reach fever pitch, and your unfiltered style might be a lot for people to take in. Feel out your audience before you unleash a tidal wave of true confessions or flirt with abandon only to find out the person you're charming is already spoken for. 
The fifth house also rules fame and creativity. Your talents could attract attention under these moonbeams, or you might get a download of inspiration about an artistic project you've been thinking about developing. Jupiter retrograde ends on December 30, talk about a grand finale. On December 30th, expansive Jupiter ends a four-month retrograde slowdown in Taurus and powers forward in your third house of communication and local affairs. Since September 4th, you may have felt tongue-tied at times or unable to get your ideas through to decision-makers or an interested audience. Prepare to rock the mic again, Pisces. A savvy idea or creative collaboration that got backburnered this fall could pick up speed now. Bountiful Jupiter is visiting Taurus from May 16, 2023, until May 25, 2024, a transit that only happens every 12 years. During this time, you've opened up to new friendships and hopefully become much more laid-back about going with the flow rather than rigidly planning, and then micromanaging, every last detail. With globetrotting Jupiter visiting your third house of community, many Pisces searched for new neighborhoods to work and hang out in. In May, Jupiter will start a year-long visit to Gemini and your fourth house of home, which could see you relocating or settling into a more permanent address. Until then, you might embrace the boho life and enjoy a nomadic summer. Considering a move? Hop around to some Arabs and experiment with daily life and locations you're considering. This is the time to try before you buy. Partnerships are exciting and adventurous for you this month, thanks to Amorous Venus jetting through your Scorpio 9th house of New Horizons from December 4th to 29th. But they could also turn serious fast, while passionate Mars and Sagittarius heats up your 10th house of power couples and long-term plans. If you're single, you might be attracted to a different kind of person, possibly someone from a strikingly different background or lifestyle than yours. Try not to prejudge them, and you might be pleasantly surprised. Couples could be thinking about traveling or doing something a little outside the box, maybe taking a class or workshop together, or testing a joint business venture with a holiday pop-up. Here's a thought, rather than buy heaps of unnecessary, and expense, holiday presents, why not put that money toward a pair of plane tickets or reservations for an over-the-top New Year's celebration? Others may swallow your no time for the holidays narrative, Pisces, but we know you better. Go getter Mars may be marching through Sagittarius and your career sector all month, but even you can't pretend you're working 70 hour weeks. Even as you're laser focused on your assignments and deadlines, remember, that same energy that's motivating you to burn the midnight oil can be redirected to making exciting future plans with your beloved, or crush, or a person to be determined in the near future. For solo fish, here's where potential workaholism could actually be a boom. Sparks could fly with a coworker or someone you meet at an industry event. And stack the deck in your favor by hovering under the mistletoe, preferably at a chic, VIP event. On December 29th, Vixen Venus drops anchor in Sagittarius and joins Mars your 10th house of long-range goals, staying until January 23rd. With such a big focus on the future, you might be intent on making things more official, whether that means putting a ring on it or exploring business opportunities with your sweetie. Think upscale for New Year's Eve plans and parties this year. With the moon in Virgo and your companionship house as the new year begins, two is the magic number for the start of 2024. To the top. December stars could mark your big ascent with the energizing sun climbing through Sagittarius and your ambitious 10th house until December 21st. For the first three weeks of the month, get clear on your long-term goals, working backward from the finish line and putting a solid, structured plan in place. Energizer Mars is also in Sagittarius the whole month, galvanizing your goals even more. On December 12th, the Sagittarius new moon plants seeds in this goal-oriented zone of your chart, a great day to start crafting your 2024 game plan. You might invest in a few sessions with a coach or mentor in the coming six months. Although most people are in holiday brain mode, you could try to get a big meeting on the calendar anyway. While firm decisions might not be made, you can make your pitch and pique their interest, then seal the deal in the new year. Caveat, Trickster Mercury is retrograde from December 13th to January 1st, amping up the pressure even as he throws a wrench into your carefully laid plans. 
you could work overtime to keep up with the deadlines you've set for yourself, especially if there are technical and interpersonal snags. Avoid getting caught in the comparison trap during this three-week phase, since Mercury here could make you extra anxious and competitive. Try not to worry so much about what other people think. The last couple days of the year could put you in the path of interesting people who could become star players or valuable partners in the coming year. On December 30th, Jupiter ends a retrograde through Taurus and your communication house, restoring your powers of persuasion. And the Virgo moon on New Year's Eve spotlights your partnership sector. You never know who you could meet chatting over that cheese log or sipping champagne. Stay open, Pisces. Love days, 26, 5 money days, 12, 19 luck days, 9, 18 off days, 29, 7, 